Mastic Greek, masticha is a resin obtained from the mastic tree Pistachia lentiscus. In pharmacies and nature shops, it is called Arabic gum, not to be confused with gum Arabic and Yemen gum. In Greece, it is known as the Tears of Chios, being traditionally produced on that Greek island, and, like other natural resins, is produced in Tears or droplets. Originally a sap, mastic is sun-dried into pieces of brittle, translucent resin. When chewed, the resin softens and becomes a bright white and opaque gum. The flavor is bitter at first, but after some chewing, it releases a refreshing flavor similar to pine and cedar. History Mastic has been harvested for at least 2,500 years since Greek antiquity. The word mastic is derived from Greek, mastichain translate, mastichain, to gnash the teeth, which is also the source of the English word masticate. The first mention of actual mastic tears was by Hippocrates. Hippocrates used mastic for the prevention of digestive problems, colds and as a breath freshener. Roman emperors used mastic along with honey, pepper, and egg in the spiced wine condidum paradoxum. Under the Byzantine Empire, the trade of mastic was made the emperor's monopoly. In the Ottoman Empire, the sultan gathered the finest mastic crop to send it to his harem. During the Ottoman rule of Chios, mastic was worth its weight in gold. The penalty for stealing mastic was execution by order of the sultan. In the Chios massacre of 1822, the people of the Mastichokoria region were spared by the sultan to provide mastic to him and his harem. Sakas Adasa, the Turkish name for the island of Chios, means, Island of Gum. The mastic villages are fortress like, out of sight from the sea, surrounded by high walls and with no doors at street level, meaning that the villages were entered only by ladders, in order to protect the sap from invaders. Although the liqueur is much younger, it is still tied up with Greek history. Digestive liqueurs, similar to mastia but made with grapes, were known as the Greek elixirs before the French Revolution. The production of mastic was threatened by the Chios forest fire that destroyed some mastic groves in August 2012. Cultivation Producing the mastic resin is a whole year process for the local growers. The harvest is known as kentos and takes place from the beginning of July to the beginning of October. First, the area around the trees is cleared and sprinkled with inert calcium carbonate. Then, every four to five days, five to ten incisions are made in the bark of each tree to release the resin. As these clear drops hang from the tree, and sparkle in the sunlight, they are said to resemble crystalline teardrops. For this reason, the mastic resin is known as the Tears of Chios. It takes about 15 to 20 days for the first resin crystals to harden and fall to the ground. The farmers then collect the pieces of dry mastic and wash them in natural spring water, and spend most of the winter cleaning and separating the tears from the sand. This cleaning process is performed by hand and is regulated by the legislative framework of the Mastic Growers Association. In addition to mastic, mastic oil is also produced. Mastichokoria As of 2018 there were 24 Mastichokoria, or mastic villages, on the island of Chios dedicated to the cultivation and production of mastic. Mastic production in Chios is protected by a European Union protected designation of origin. The island's mastic production is controlled by a cooperative. Founded in 1938, the Chios Gum Mastic Growers Association Greek, Enos Mastichou Paragogon Chio abbreviated CGMGA, is a secondary cooperative organization and acts as the collective representative organ of 20 primary cooperatives founded in the 24 Mastic villages. It has the exclusive management of natural Chios Mastia in Greece and abroad. On the 11th of June 2016, the Chios Mastic Museum opened its doors in Rachi. It offers a permanent exhibition about mastic production on the island, explaining its history and cultivation techniques as well as demonstrating its different uses today. Turkey Traditionally there has also been limited production of mastic on the Sesmi Peninsula, on the Turkish coast 8 nautical miles from Chios, with similar ecological conditions suitable for mastic production. 
The Turkish Foundation for Combating Soil Erosion, for Reforestation and the Protection of Natural Habitats has led an effort to protect the native Turkish mastic trees and to plant new ones in the Sesme Peninsula to revive viable commercial production of the product. As part of this project, which was expected to last through 2016, over 3,000 mastic tree saplings were planted between 2008 and October 2011 to over 368 acres 149 hectares of dedicated farm land provided by the Izmir Institute of Technology. Uses Topic. Medicinal Mastic has been used as a medicine since antiquity and is still used in traditional folk medicine of the Middle East. In ancient Greece, it was erroneously given as a remedy for snakebite. The first-century Greek physician Padanius Dioscorides mentions the healing properties of mastic in his book De Materia Medica. Hippocrates wrote that mastic is good for prevention of digestive problems and colds, and Galenus suggested that mastic was useful for bronchitis and for improving the condition of the blood. Mastic contains antioxidants and also has antibacterial and antifungal properties. A University of Nottingham study published in the New England Journal of Medicine finds that mastic can cure peptic ulcers by killing Helicobacter pylori bacteria. Other studies have indicated that mastic has only a modest ability to eliminate H. pylori but have also suggested that refining mastic by removing the polymer poly beta mercine may make the active components, particularly isomasticadianolic acid, more available and effective. One study found that high consumption of chios mastic powder results in decreased levels of total serum cholesterol, LDL, total cholesterol, HDL ratio, lipoprotein A, apolipoprotein A1, apolipoprotein B. ALT, AST, and GGT. Mastic oil is widely used in the preparation of ointments for skin disorders and afflictions. In the past, it was also used in the manufacture of adhesive bandages. <laughs> <laughs> Dental hygiene Mastic may have some value in preventing tooth decay and gingivitis as chewing mastic appears to reduces oral bacteria. In medieval times, mastic was highly valued by sultans' harems as a breath freshener and a tooth whitener. In India and Persia, mastic was used to fill dental cavities. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Culinary. In the Eastern Mediterranean, chios mastic is considered a spice for food. It is commonly used for baking and cooking, adding its aroma to foodstuffs such as brioches, ice cream and other desserts. It is especially known to the Arabian cuisine, but recently mastic is also increasingly used in Japanese cooking. One of the earliest uses of mastic was as chewing gum, hence, the name. Mastic-flavored chewing gum is sold in Syria, Lebanon, Turkey, and Greece. Mastic is used in ice cream, sauces, and seasoning in Lebanon. In Egypt, mastic is used in vegetable preserves, in jams that have a gummy consistency and in soups. In savory dishes Egyptian chicken, duck, rabbit and fish recipes often call for mastic, usually paired with cardamom. In Morocco, mastic is used in the preparation of smoked foods, in Syria, mastic is added to bouza. In Turkey, mastic is widely used in desserts such as Turkish delight and dondorma, in puddings such as sutlak, salep, tavuk gogzu, mamalika, and in soft drinks. Mastic syrup is added to Turkish coffee on the Aegean coast. In the Maghreb countries, mastic is used mainly in cakes, sweets, and pastries and as a stabilizer in meringue and nougat. In Greece, mastic is used in liqueurs such as chios mastia, in a spoon sweet known as or submarine. Greek, wipobrichio translate. Wipeovirichio, in beverages, chewing gum, sweets, desserts, breads and cheese. It is also used to stabilize Turkish delight and ice cream. In religion Some scholars identify the baka mentioned in the Bible with the mastic plant. Baka appears to be derived from Hebrew, bk weeping, and is thought to refer to the tears of resin secreted by the mastic plant. Ancient Jewish halachic sources indicate suggest mastic as a treatment for bad breath. Mastic is not chewed on Shabbat. 
When is it not permissible to chew mastic on Shabbat? When the intention is medicinal. If it is used for bad breath, it is permissible. Mastic is an essential ingredient of chrism, the holy oil used for anointing by the Orthodox churches. Other uses Mastic is used in some varnishes. Mastic varnish was used to protect and preserve photographic negatives. Mastic is also used in perfumes, cosmetics, soap, body oils, and body lotion. In ancient Egypt, mastic was used in embalming. In its hardened form, mastic can be used, like frankincense or boswellia resin, to produce incense. Imitations and substitutes The rarity of mastic and the difficulty of its production make it expensive. As a result, imitations in the form of other resins appear in the market, sold as mastic, such as boswellia or gum arabic. Other trees, such as pistachia palestina, can also produce a resin similar to mastic. Yet other substances, such as pine tree resin and almond tree resin, are sometimes used in place of mastic. See also Mastica liqueur with mastic aroma Magilp art medium